thalipit a typical marathi snack which is nothing but a bread and if we split this word thalipit thali is a plate pit is flour we mix different flours together make a dough out of it with some masalas and we'll just make a thick bread kind of thing roti kind of thing and we shallow fry it there are different versions of thali pit and you can use different flours it's obviously healthier because you can mix different flours and they can supply whatever proteins you require today we are making th kandeza thali thalipit or thali pit with chopped onion into it for that we require different kinds of flours we can use combination of flours you can choose your flours according to your taste here i have jowar flour or sorghum flour bajra or millet flour chana flour udi flour coarse wheat flour rice flour we need to add certain masalas coriander seed powder cumin powder a spoonful of turmeric red chili powder or hot chili powder hing or asa fortida finely chopped onion chili pinch of salt just for the taste and we are using typical masala into it and that is maharashtrian masala called as goda masala or kada masala what is goda masala actually it's not sweet masala but because of cinnamon clove cardamom it has sweet notes into it generally the proportion which i have used today is like eight parts of jowar flour four parts of bajra flour two parts of chana flour and one part each of udi flour rice flour and coarse wheat flour first we have to dry roast these flours traditionally what is done is like you know all these grains they are roasted separately they are mixed together and then they are ground into sort of like you know coarse to fine powder here i'm giving you shortcut so i'll be mixing all these flours together i am making sure that they are not burning i am giving you a recipe of like instant thali pit flour so if you make it this way and just keep in air tight jar or something or you can use it for another month or so whenever you feel okay let us make thali pit just take this flour out add warm water chopped onion there is another good thing about this if you want to add roughage into it obviously grains have roughage of themselves but if you want to add more roughage and some additional nutrients you can grate some carrots radish or finely chop some vegetables like cabbage and cauliflower and you can mix this together which gives real nice taste as well and it's almost like full meal kind of thing it's smelling nice and we need not roast it like you know like laddu flour or something just little bit roasting is fine because anyway we'll be shallow frying it later on while this is roasting i'm adding this sort of like a tablespoon full of coriander powder cumin powder then goes goda masala you can add goda masala later on if you don't want to put it now but see it's a instant kind of flour so it's fine if we mix it in the beginning now i'll be putting a spoonful of turmeric couple of spoons of red chili powder or hot chili powder it depends on you what you choose if you want to make it for kids like don't put chili powder in the beginning you can adjust it later on there is another ingredient which i'm going to add now and that is hing or asa fortida which is real good for your stomach now toss it on high flame yeah it's done just one ingredient is remaining and that is nothing but salt 
we can adjust salt later on it's not i have switched off the gas and i have warm water ready it's not necessary that you should use warm water only warm water gives like you know lightness to your dough so that's okay like you know if you use normal temperature water and another important thing in any kind of recipe if you are using chili and if you are chopping it finely chop it or keep just long full chili just slit open and then put it here i'm just using couple of chilies let us start with thalipit dough one spoon is enough for one thalipit so maybe we'll make three four thalipits so one two three and four that's enough because anyway we will be adding this finely chopped onion coriander and chili obviously for taste so we'll be putting some salt for taste that's okay and let us add this finely chopped onion chili a little bit of coriander mix it together and slowly add the water we have to add water slowly because we don't want this dough to be very thin yeah it's nice now while we are mixing this dough and preparing i have started heating this pan now i have taken one portion of this dough nice and soft and we need to have butter paper and just few drops of oil i'll be putting on it if we don't have butter paper use simple plain white paper add heaps of oil on top of it it will make temporary and instant butter paper if that is not available use polythene bag bit thick in gauge don't use carry bag at all don't use thali because it is not possible to transfer this like patted bread from thali on top of this griddle or pan slowly i'll pat it we can use a little bit of water if we need to spread it bhakri or chapati or any kind of roti bread always remember thickness should be even so the cooking is even now this pan is a bit hot so i'm putting some oil there i have put like in you know, a few drops of oil on this butter paper because later on i'll be lifting this whole thing and then i'll put on top of this griddle or pan or whatever now thickness is even looks nice and round and this is sufficient hot we have to put it this way just upside down and remove this butter paper see it's almost gone now we have to punch just three four holes we have punched five holes in the center it shouldn't be like you know towards periphery the reason is like you know otherwise it will break later on and i'll put top of it so what happens through these holes oil gets spread all over underneath the thali pit and we'll be covering this with lid gas should be on medium not too low not too high so it will get evenly shallow fried while this is getting ready i'll be preparing another thali pit so make dough like this a little bit of oil i can hear this hissing sound here like you know that vapor is coming and there is a indication it is getting cooked another thing this vapor is saturated on top of it so we can just reduce the gas or heat take this out see this vapor is there so it is cooked now we need to toss it carefully it is bit brittle kind of bread so we have to be very careful while handling it so don't like you know just play around with this quickly do it like this done see such a nice and evenly cooked 
thali bit and now no need to cover it it's properly cooked just keep doing it and you can make round thali bit i'm making it sure like you know just to check from the bottom whether it is ready or not yeah see it's nicely done so it's ready yeah just take out on the plate yeah if you are scared of heat of this pan and if you don't want to punch these holes on top of it just do one thing do it in advance like 1 2 3 4 5 just in the center not towards outer side do it like this put some oil through these holes 